my babes and welcome back to my channel in this video i will be showing you guys how i installed and styled this here if you guys want to see that then please keep on watching but before we jump into the video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever i post give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and leave all your comments down below but without further ado let's just jump right into this video so for this tutorial i won't be using the glue i will be using got to be spray actually yes i use got to be spray and this unit was pretty much almost like a glueless unit um i attached the band pretty tight on my head so it was pretty much secure even though it wasn't yet secure so it was easier to work with and that's what that's why i always recommend wearing uh putting an elastic band on your wigs because it helps to keep it down and when you're customizing it it is pretty much already in place like it helps to keep it in place while you're doing your customization and all of that and your installation so right now i'm basically just um cutting the hair tabs making sure um the measurements around my head circumference is the same as the wig so i'm just cutting it to my size the the size of my head and um pretty much you know making it mine okay um so all i did was pretty much spray the got to be um spray on it waited until it was dried sprayed a little bit more and then went ahead and you know tapped it down also i forgot to tell you this here is from here sensation yes this is our yaki street um here and you know cut and all of that styled by moa um but yeah right now i am just pressing it down using my little um baby hair combs to do that and also guys honestly the the baby hair comb i like it because of the tooth um the teeth actually under the comb they're very small so it picks up the tiny tiny hairs and make it you know easier to blend and all like i like using it okay so yeah all i'm doing right now is pretty much just um you know putting it down making sure it's all glued down and yeah pretty much just using the blow dryer to make sure that it's all um, melted down and then I will be going in with my scarf you know to tie it down and yeah making sure I'm just pretty much making sure it's all secured and all melted down um the little flaps that are lifting up that, that are lifting up I pretty much just went back over with my the got to be spray sprayed it down and you know Spray it down, make sure it's flat, use the blow dryer, and all of that. Also, I realized that my camera was a little bit foggy. I didn't realize until the end of the video, which was sad, but you know, it is what it is. Um, now I'm using my mousse, and I'm just using my mousse to separate the baby hairs from the next part of the hair. So I'm pretty much just putting the baby hairs out of the way, and then I'm going to tie it down, and I will be putting the blow dryer I think I had it on warm actually either warm or full heat you could do whichever still works um but pretty much that process will help to melt the hair the lace a bit more in the got to be spray or the glue whichever you're using but it does the same job melt it down a little bit more and you know get your hair a little bit flat Now 
for this part I'm pretty much using the blow dryer because I want to give the hair volume I want the front part to have that kind of high um, hump if that's the word um, so that's why I'm using the blow dryer to give it more volume to give it a little bit more body so when I'm when I curl the hair it's bouncy it's bouncy and you know has a lot of volume so that's literally why I was going in with the blow dryer and that brush so the blow dryer and that brush um, has to go together if you don't have that brush I don't know but you have to use that brush if you want the hump at the front and you're here to have a little bit more body okay and now I'm just going to be sweeping my baby hairs um, I used both the mousse and the got to be got to be spray um, for my baby hairs I used the mousse first and then used the got to be spray to put it on a little bit I had to do that because it's not glued down so you know to make it a little bit more secure I use um, the got to be spray so yeah right now I'm just doing my baby hairs and I'm gonna let you guys just watch uh yeah Now that my baby hairs are all done I'm going to be going in with some more mousse just to make sure everything is all laid and then I am going to use my tie head and I'm going to tie down the baby hairs to make sure they stay in place while I curl my hair so I'm going to tie it um, blow dry it um, use a blow dryer sorry oh what was that anyways I'm going to tie it and then use the blow dryer with the brush once more and give it a little bit more volume the hump at the front and all of that and then I'm going to be going in and just put some wand curls you know around it and whatever making it cute and yeah that's literally all I did for the blow dryer to pump it up and then went in with my wand curl to do my waves what's happening
final look thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial of me styling up um you know this hair i actually love this style still honestly i've had this wig and i was just like yo I need to do something else with it because I only do like the straight like if the only thing I switch up on it is like the parting so sometimes I'll do a straight part or the side part but then it will still be straight so I wanted to do you know one to curl and you know give it a new look cuz that's what we do over here okay um, thank you guys for watching do not forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever I post and leave leave all your comments down below let me know what you think about this hairstyle let me know what you think about this look you know and give it a thumbs up if you like it once again thank you and I will see you guys in my next one